Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Ah, uh, afternoon YouTube. Here with you to uh, show you the uh, scope that I bought. Yes, it does work. I think you can see that. Brighten it up a little bit. Put the um, calibrator on, see how that works. I get it on there. There we go. Now that's uh, the uh, calibration. That's pretty good. Change the uh, sweep rate a little bit. Here of that. Now, I did notice this is uh, a little bit, you can see it move there, see how it's doing that. That needs to be cleaned. Same way with the, uh, the other one. But it works. Now the only thing I haven't been able to do is get it to work on on the other channel. Uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm not that familiar with dual trace scopes or scopes, period, for that matter. So. So I, I don't know. I've got that set pretty much the same as the other one. Um. Uh, so, I'm <laughs> not really sure how we uh, go about getting that, or maybe I get that out of the way. Yeah, the position's a little bit uh, scratchy too, you can see how that does that. But I don't see how this is, uh, I don't see anything at all over here. Move that up and down as far as it'll go. Nothing's there. So, if anybody has an idea about that, maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. The intensity works. That's the background. Or that, I meant the intensity. The, uh, the you know what I'm saying. The uh, back backlit. That's what that's for. Intensity works fine. Um, again, position. Everything works. It's just that other channel. And maybe, like I said, I'm I may be doing something wrong. I'm trying to find a, a manual for this. Uh, so far I haven't been able to find one. Uh, I find them all day long for the 2160A, but this is just plain 2160. So, anybody has any idea about that, I'd appreciate that too. So, anyway, that's a quick look at it. It does work. Uh, it may need a little tune-up. Like I said, some cleaning of the uh, controls, which is normal. Uh, I don't know. Other than the uh, other trace, other side of the trace, uh, uh, you know, the second trace, I don't know. That's all I can say. It works. Works good. I'm really happy with it. I really don't use the scope enough to know how to use them, to tell you the truth. I got this set up pretty easy on my own, but um, I don't know about the auto trigger. I'll check that too. Like I say, it's something a learning process, but you know, position works on that on horizontal position. Anyway, I think it's a pretty good deal. I think less than sixty bucks, sixty megahertz scope. I don't think anybody complained about that. Uh, now all I'll do is find a place to put it. Um, really want to put it on this end of the workbench. I think I'm going to try to extend that uh, shelf I have planned so I can sit it in that corner and by the um, soldering station underneath that and I think that's going to give me plenty enough room to use it and and have it visible for anything I want to use it for. So I do have plans to buy some probes. I uh, now, where'd that thing go?
There it is. So anyway, like I say, I I have to uh, find some. Uh, I'm just playing with this thing. I got to find some probes. Uh, this one here goes with my uh, RF frequency, RF uh, signal generator. And it, it's it's the basic probe. It's nothing fancy. I, I've seen them online on uh, eBay for for maybe around ten bucks for a couple of them. So that's probably what I'll buy. But I want to make sure I've got the other channel first before I go go investing in two probes. So anybody knows uh, any more about that? Let me know. I will appreciate it. And I think that's about all I'm gonna say for now. For you guys, appreciate the uh, well wishes on the. Uh, Stomach problems. I I did. I was able to eat a bowl of noodles this afternoon. I feel somewhat better. It's still not a hundred percent, but good enough to do this, I guess. So, you guys have a great evening. Thank you very much for watching.